Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to tie a three-way catfish rig and to do that you're going to need six things. A three-way swivel, a hook, a bank or teardrop sinker, heavy line for your main line, medium line for your leader, and light line for your sinker. Alright, so we're going to kick this thing off with the sinker line, also known as a sacrifice sinker line, and my rig is going to have 15 pound test line and a three ounce bank sinker. What I like to do with my sinker lines is tie a loop on the sinker's end of the line, and I'm going to do that with a surgeon's loop. I tie a surgeon's loop, it's quite easy actually. You're gonna double over the line like this. You're then going to take that doubled over line, cross it like you're gonna tie a basic overhand knot. It's gonna leave you with two loops. You're gonna have a larger loop right here and a smaller loop here on the right. Now I'm gonna use my right hand to thread the smaller loop through the larger loop twice. So that's one. That's two. Now that I've done that twice, I'm going to pull the knot tight, trim the tag end, and now we have ourselves a surgeon's loop. To add your sinker, all you have to do is thread your loop through the eye, wrap it around the body, pull tight, bam, your sinker line is done. Now the great thing about having a loop on your sinker line is that if I want to swap this out for a different sinker, all I have to do is take the sinker off of the loop and add the new one on. To add the sinker line to the swivel, I'm going to use what's called a polymer knot. And to start that, you're going to double over your line like this. That's going to create a little loop that you're going to thread through one of the eyes of the swivel. And then you're going to take that doubled over line and make a basic overhand knot. Pull it semi-tight. That's going to create another loop. That you're then going to wrap around the entire body of the swivel. Pull on the main line. Give the tag end a little tug. Trim off the tag end and your sinker line is complete. As I mentioned before, some anglers will call this the sacrifice sinker line. That's because the most practical use of this rig is around riprap that you'll find around levees, dams, and spillways. The sinker will fall into the riprap and is very likely not getting that thing back. That's why it's important to make sure that this line is the weakest on the rig so that if that sinker gets hung up, it'll break before the rest of the rig does. The whole point of this rig is to keep your bait elevated in the water column. So whenever you're fishing with this rig, I recommend you make the sinker line three to six feet so that your bait will be sufficiently suspended in the water column above structure. Next is going to be the leader and I'm going to be using an 8 dot circle hook that will be tied to 30 pound test line using what's called a uni snell knot. To start the knot, you're going to thread your line through the eye of the hook out the back. Take a healthy amount of line here. Lay the line against the back of the shank, then bring the tag end up perpendicular to the shank, and then pinch the lines and the shank together. It's going to create a little loop at the bend of the hook. Now keeping that pinch to the hook, I'm going to take the tag end and begin wrapping it around the hook shank. Since this is 30 pound test line, I'm going to do this about 10 times. It's a pretty strong line. If you're using weaker line, I'd recommend going 12, 15, maybe even 20 wraps depending on the strength of your line. Now that I've made my wraps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch all of this together. What I want to make sure I do is make sure those wraps stay in place, but this first wrap right here at the bend of the hook stays in place as well. I'm going to take the tag end, thread it through that loop, pull it all the way through, and then I'm going to pull in the main line and all of those wraps are going to come together like so. Then I'll pull on the tag end and the main line, trim the tag end, and our uni snell knot is complete. To add the leader to the swivel, I'm going to use yet another polymer knot. For leader length, in my opinion, it just depends on where you're fishing. If I'm fishing in a lake where there's not a lot of current, I'm going to be using shorter leaders one to three feet. If I'm fishing in a river where there's a lot of current near a dam, I'm going to be using leaders three to six feet. But again, that's just my opinion. You use whatever works for you. If you find that longer leaders aren't working, try a shorter one or vice versa. Once you find that perfect length and the fish start biting, roll with it. Once you've completed the polymer knot, your leader is successfully added to the rig. So now I'm gonna add my main line to the swivel. For me, this is 65 pound test. I'm gonna tie this on with another polymer knot. Once you get your main line on there, your three-way catfish rig is complete. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. If you want to learn more about catfishing rigs, we have other videos you might want to check out, like our slip bobber rig video, which is by far the most popular video on the channel. We hope you guys come back for the next video, but until then, get out there, put a line in the water, because we were made to fish.